Hi, John Bennett's here, and in today's quick tutorial we're going to have a look at how to set up a few basic instrument and audio tracks in GarageBand. In the Arrange page at the top, you'll see the timeline, and this illustrates the bar lines that we were working with. On the left-hand side, this is where all the headers for our instrument and audio tracks will be. At the bottom of the page, we have our transport controls with the record, playback, fast forward and rewind buttons. We're going to set up an instrument track now, so let's go down to the bottom here, click on our button, which gives us three options. The first is software instrument, the second is a real instrument, which is uh, for setting up microphones, etc. And the third is for electric guitar to plug it straight into your audio device. We're going to choose audio instrument, hit create, and this will default with the grand piano sound. Okay, we can hear that. We're going to change that now over to be a drum sound. So we just go down here to our drum kits, and today I think we're going to use a hip hop kit. So we click on the hip hop kit. Okay, before we start recording, we need to set up a metronome and count in. And this is done up in the control area here. So click metronome and set up a count in as well. And also down the bottom of the page, we have our tempo. Now it defaults to 120 beats per minute. We're going to change that to 92 beats per minute because that's more of a hip hop kind of rhythm. And now if we hit the record, we can record our track. Okay, there's our first part of our audio recording. I'm going to double left click on the region up the top of here, which will open up down the bottom our piano roll and also we can access the score as well. So let's go back to the piano roll. I'm going to highlight all of these MIDI notes and we're going down here to our area where we can change our quantizing. It also says align to here. Now if we click back and play this Okay, we're going to move up here now to the edge, top right hand corner of our region. If we left click on that and drag, we can actually go into a loop. So now if I go back to the start, you'll see that this is completely looped out. I'll just play from bar four. Okay, so we've created our first loop that we can play along to. We've got our tempo and our instrument playing. Now we're going to go back down to the bottom left hand corner and we're going to create an audio instrument, or in this case it's called a real instrument. When we create a real instrument or audio instrument, we want to make sure that we have the input aligned, so we're going to go back down to our area down here. In this case, it's already recognizing that my microphone is a Rode Podcaster, so that's already set up to go. All we need to do now is to be able to play along. So I'm going to just mute our hip hop kit for a second and we're just going to hit record. One and two, three, four. Okay, you can see down the bottom now, there's our audio track. We don't want to have our metronome on while we're recording because that's going to come through on our audio track. In fact, we've got one and two, three, four we can actually hear that going in the background. So we're just going to re take that off. Normally if you're going to be recording on an audio track, you'd be using a set of headphones so you can't hear what's actually coming through the monitors. But just for what we're going to be doing here today, um, I'm going to actually play a little bit of guitar along with that track. So we'll put it in record. <laughs> And there we've 
recorded our first track.